You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and uh, back this year, year two, not year two, <laughs> but we'll talk about that in a minute, is Pastor John Page from uh, Mount Moriah Baptist Church. Yes. Welcome back, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming here. Um, Absolutely. You have a big event this year. You have the 35th anniversary of the church. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're celebrating 35 years uh, from uh, its incorporation, its inception in uh, 1981. Uh, where Reverend Neville uh, started the mm -hmm. church with uh, 30 families or so. And uh, for 35 years, uh, we have been uh, impacting the community of Brockton and uh, greater Massachusetts and indeed globally. Uh, there's been many people who have come in and out of the doors of Mount Moriah who have been impacted by training programs, been impacted by uh, food pantries and soup kitchens and just ministry in general in the uh, greater uh, Brockton area. So uh, we're very excited that uh, uh, we've been here for 35 years and we're excited about uh, where we're going uh, the next 35 years, if you will. Uh, we've had uh, two pastors, so we had a founding pastor, Reverend Neville, and then of course I've been there for uh, four years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look forward to continuing to impact uh, and have, make a positive difference in this community. I don't think it's happenstance that Mount Moriah is right here on Pleasant Street, right in the heart of the city. Uh, that uh, we believe that God has put us there and uh, to do uh, great service in this community. So. Well, I was starting to tell you, I haven't been in cable 35 years, 33, close. Okay. But the first, the second big concert I did was a gospel concert at Mount Moriah Baptist Church. Wow. Because you have a beautiful facility yes. right in the neighborhood. Um, and Continental Cable, who I worked for at the time, was right across the street at 4 Main Street. Mm -hmm. So you share with us 35 years. BCA is 35 years old. Wow. Our, our original name, Brockton Community Cable Television, everyone thinks with a cable company. Uh -huh. So we changed that a few <laughs> years back to Brockton Community Access. But we were there when, when you guys were getting started, and we did a lot of work with Reverend Neville. Yeah. He did computer training, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. We, he was a regular guest on, on TV. The uh, Massasoit used to do a show called ethical perspectives oh wow okay. and the president of the college used to host it mm -hmm. he was not a you would think that he was an Irish priest because he had the gift of gab and he had a wonderful sense of humor but he brought all the clergy in Brockton together back wow. in the day and he hosted a show over there so there's a lot I mean you think about churches and the people that go to churches and their moral foundation, mm -hmm. the way they conduct themselves, the, they, they, they you know, love other people, mm -hmm. they participate in their community. I yes. know, I believe Councillor Shana Barnes is one Absolutely. of your, your uh, congregants. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of good people at the church. I was fortunate enough to visit you during election time and I almost got myself in trouble because we're not <laughs> supposed to politics in church. But there's politics in church. There's politics every place. Sure. But sure. Um, so you're going to be over at Thorny Lee Country Club. Yes. You were at Massasoit Conference Center last year. Had mm -hmm. a great event, which we were there for with comedian Chris Clark. Yes. This year it's going to be jazz. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward, we, uh, for our 35th, we wanted to do something a little more uh, intimate, a little bit more uh, upscale, and a little bit more. So we're actually doing a black tie event. Okay. And uh, we'll have a nice jazz combo uh, band there. Uh, we'll have some great food there. We have a guest speaker. And then we'll also be honoring uh, some uh, of the persons who have done phenomenal work in this community. So uh, we're certainly looking forward uh, to that, uh, get dressed up in our nines and uh, go and have a little bit of fun. Gee, Mike didn't tell me that part about the black tie. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's good because, yeah. you know what, it's always nice to dress up and, mm -hmm. and, and be a little bit more formal. Absolutely. Um, you know, you get off the, I mean, just, I'm glad I had another event. I had a chamber event this morning. Okay. All summer long, summer's gone. Even though it goes till the 21st, I was doing polo shirts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and yeah. I put the suit and tie on today for the chamber and, and decided to do it here. So this sounds exciting. Now, you're telling me that you sold out, but, but, but there might be a little space left to shoehorn a sure. few more tickets. If, if persons uh, who are interested in attending the event uh, give us a phone call, 508-588-0833, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. and we can certainly get back in touch with them uh, for ticket information. and. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe we'll be able to have some wiggle room. Okay. If persons are interested. Wiggle room is always fun when you're coordinating an event because <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes everybody wants to go. And RSVP in this day and age yeah. is um, 
sometimes respond and place a reservation. It doesn't always quite work that right, way. Right. You guys are also, I know you're doing an ad book too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's closed down or not, if people can still send in information for the book. Yeah. Just um, call the number, right? Just call the number. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, because Mike was talking to me about that too. Mm -hmm. So um, do the people that are being honored know they're being honored? Because I don't want to ask you to reveal anything. Okay, no. so we can't do that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's good. Um, what kind of response so far? We you had a great crowd last year. Mm -hmm. um, bigger, even more. Yeah, we're we're hoping that it's it's bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, every year that we're able to do uh, have bigger celebrations and have them uh, be uh, meaningful and, and impactful. And uh, so we are. Uh, I think that w our crowd will be bigger than mm -hmm. it was last year. Uh, I don't think we sold out last year versus this year right, uh, selling right. out. So and Massasoit is a bigger venue, sure. so it's it's a lot of people. Now is Reverend Neville going to be back there? Uh, he will be. He will be here for that weekend. Okay. He, he will not be. I think he gets in uh, later on uh, that evening, Saturday evening. Okay. And so I don't think he'll make that event, but he will be here for the weekend as we celebrate for the whole weekend. Right. Uh, the church anniversary. So. Are you having a special service as well on Sunday? Yeah, on Sunday we certainly would invite uh, uh, former members, uh, uh, current members of course, and those who are just interested to see mm -hmm. what Mount Moriah is all about. Uh, we uh, certainly have a number of uh, uh, various programming that we're doing within the community and community outreach and engagement. Uh, we just recently uh, had a back to school event where we uh, took 500 backpacks and filled them with paper nice. and utensils uh, or uh, things that students can use uh, and, and we were able to give them out and uh, give them information and um, we had dental cleanings and mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. So we're always engaged in the community and looking for opportunities to be able to share with our neighbors and share with uh, those who are residents here. And uh, so anybody who is more than uh, or is interested in coming is more than welcome to come on that day. It will be October 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, our services begin at 10 o'clock, and uh, certainly uh, people can go to the website for more information. Which is? www.mtmariahbrockton.org. Yeah. Okay, because there are other Mount Mariahs in different yes. parts of the country. <laughs> it's a famous name. Well, MT Bro yes, absolutely. Okay, so we'll put that up and let everybody know. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming on. Thank you we're, for we're having gonna us. We're going to be there, but you can't rely on us for TV, you, for just the coverage. You've got to go. You've got to experience the event. Absolutely. Last year, we did clips. We don't show you the whole thing. We just let you know that it happened. It, it was an awesome To us, time. it's historical. Yeah. Okay. 35 years, congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so we'll much. We'll be there. 35, congratulations to you guys as well. Thank you very and, much. And uh, let us know so we can come and celebrate with you all as well. Absolutely. Okay. Not too far after yours. Okay. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.